Hey y'all, it's Sarah. I'm here and I'm going to talk about my experience in security forces just during tech school. So I'm only talking about that period of time. Am I focused? Focus on me, mother. <laughs> okay, y'all. So anyways, um, my security forces training was held at Lackland Air Force Base. I'm pretty sure it's still held there now. Um, this was in 2007 that I started uh, security forces training. And I was so hyped. I don't want you guys thinking that I was stuck with the job of becoming, you know, a security forces cop or whatever. I chose that. Like, I could have scored the highest and I wanted to be a cop. That was my goal. So, no, this is something I wanted to do. But, you know, you're fresh out of basic training. So anything after that is going to seem kind of like a breeze. But, y'all, it was so much fun. We were always in trouble and, like, we were always, like... I forgot what they call it, like when they say on punishment. Because you go through phase. We're always phased down because you have phases where like sometimes you can wear your civilian clothes on base and then you'll have privileges to leave base and stuff. Like we were always in trouble. So we was always doing something in our flight. Like it was ridiculous. Or our team. It was freaking ridiculous. I lived in the old dorms. It was so, it, it sucked. Because y'all like, you know, when I joined, I had to iron my freaking uniform I had to shine my boots and then like a few flights after me they started getting the uniforms I didn't have to do any of that they didn't have to shine boots or anything so during security forces training we we're like getting dirty a lot and we'd have to come with a clean spanky new uniform every day and it's like these people don't have to do anything they can just go to the cool little laundry mat so yeah they were able to go to the cool little laundry mat or whatever and yeah, but anyways, I forgot how long was, was it like 14 weeks? 14, 13 weeks. And it was awesome. We learned all about weapons. We learned, we did Red Man where this thing tries to like beat you up. And I remember like I had a baton when they like came at me. I'm only, I'm going to be all over the place because things will pop in my head. And my first strike, boom, baton flew out of my hand. So we just fought. We rolled on the ground. <laughs> but yeah, you learn how to handcuff. You learn like the rules and stuff like that. It, it was, for me, I loved it. I freaking loved it. I, I love that kind of stuff. Um, well, loved that kind of stuff. That kind of stuff is what got me hurt. But <laughs> you get to fire a bunch of cool weapons. You get to be in the field. Land nav. I suck at that. Um, I will get you lost and we will never find a way out. It is what it is. I mean, back then, now I can probably figure it out because I'm like older and like I, I didn't, I'm, I'm smart now, so I'm pretty sure I can deal with it. But you have Bullis. I think Bullis is three weeks where you go to a separate base and um, you're doing like a lot of field stuff, firing stuff, um, eating MREs and stuff like that. Um, it, it, it's so awesome. You meet a lot of cool people. I just, what else did we do? We did like land nav, a lot of book work. There was, there was a lot of book work, a lot of doing things for no reason, getting up way too early. Mind you, we have a huge team, right? Like if one person's late, we're all late. That's the mentality of the military. And I'll, there's pros and cons to that because like if somebody can't get their stuff together, then you know, it's like, what the heck? But I was a yellow rope, so they have those people that wear those ropes so lame. It's like, you're a leader. I forgot what the yellow rope meant. And then there's like a red rope. There's a black rope. And there's like all, I forgot. But I just know I had a yellow rope, right? So I would get in trouble if somebody else did something. Like if I'm not watching their every move, like if they're late or something like that, like I'd have to figure it out. And so that was cool because that helped me, you know, take responsibility and figure out how to solve problems so that we wouldn't all get in trouble. It's all about taking the blame. Um, but yeah, y'all, those days where we were inside the classroom looking at these books, that would kill me. I hate book work. I hate it. I'm hands-on. That's why I like doing field stuff and doing all that kind of stuff. But y'all, like, I met the best people and they help you get through it, like, for real. They had, like, a little club on base and, like, we would all be over there, like, dancing and getting it and gigging and all that. And then, like, I remember, remember I told y'all we were always in trouble. Like, anytime they played, I'm locked up, won't let me. And mind you, like, this is back in 2007, our team would be, like, in our BDUs, like, yeah, we're locked out, we can't do anything. But I literally only left base, like, twice maybe three times and that was to eat and I went to I went to Houston one time wasn't supposed to do that during bullets but we were able to like 
Yeah, totally went to Houston. I wasn't from, <laughs> wasn't supposed to, but I did. I didn't get in trouble or anything. But it's a lot of hanging around, a lot of prepping, a lot of making sure that your stuff is together before you go in. They'd have us wear gear for no reason, like we weren't even doing anything. But it doesn't matter what the reason is. If somebody tells you to do it, you need to do it. So that was awesome. Um, they, they just showed a lot, a lot of stuff. How to pull somebody over if you're um, approaching a domestic violence and um it's funny because well it's not funny but you know i learned that in school and i actually had to do that one time so it was great that we learned that we also learned like if there was a shooter on base if there was a gate runner um all kind of stuff like that and it, it was pretty cool like you take that stuff for granted you don't take it serious but when something pops off i mean you know then you're like i'm thankful but you learn more of that for me, it's hands-on training. I didn't like see a lot while I was in. Don't get it twisted like I was involved in a lot of stuff. Like, no. Um, I I've uh I had to pull somebody over. Um, they made me, I wasn't all about that. I'm gonna be honest with you, I wasn't I was working mids anyways, and barely like anybody was out during that time. I know that sounds weird, but like during weeknights. So I rarely had to do that, but I remember one time somebody made me do it just because I like never did it. <laughs> Cause I was like, if nobody's getting hurt, like what's the problem? But I get it. So I had to pull somebody over one time. Um, we, ha we have a lot of like exercises where they're like, oh, this is happening. Somebody's by the planes. And if you guys don't know, like if somebody's running towards planes or, you know, you're going to shoot, you're going to shoot that ASS. Okay. Like you don't mess around. You don't break into base. If we tell you to stop, like anybody who's not in the military and you're watching this, if you run a gate on an installation and you are not stopping, we're authorized to shoot you. So don't play games by any type of like, um, aircraft. Don't do it because they will shoot you. Like it happened at the last base I was at. Don't do it. Like a teenager was actually shot. Don't, don't mess around with that. So gate runner stuff, like, yeah, don't do it. Um, we didn't learn anything about background checks. That's something that I learned when I went, when I was at, was it Eglin that I was doing that? No, it was at Luke Air Force Base where I was doing, no, it was Eglin too. I think it was Eglin too. But yeah, y'all, like, it was awesome. It's going to suck. You're going to get up early. You're not going to be able to eat hot meals all the time. It is what it is. But y'all, like the mashed potatoes in security forces training, like, I love me some of those instant mashed potatoes. For some reason, like I was addicted to those. Um, I I just met amazing people, and I wish we could all have like a reunion because it was so funny. So I wish I could relive that part of my life, but not lose where I'm at right now. You know, like with my husband, with my son, where I'm at business wise. I wish I could just have like a few days of living just with those people really quick so that I could like die laughing and we could just, you know, and then we'll go back to our lives. Cause that was such an amazing time. Although it may suck. I know some of you guys, if you guys are in security forces and you're watching it right now, you're like, man, this sucks, but you will look back later and be like, Oh, I remember that. Like I get it. There's a lot of PT. There's a lot of running. If you guys haven't been to Lackland or if you have, you know, that straight area where everybody runs. Oh, <laughs> I got a little lazy during tech school. I wasn't running as much unless they made me run because in basic training, you literally run every single morning. But yeah. but yeah, that's my tech school experience. There really isn't a lot. I know you guys are going to do like a lot of field stuff. Just know that. But if y'all have any questions or anything like that, just drop them below. Thanks for watching.